I accepted Christ when I was eight years old uh, in, in our Sunday school class. And I, at eight years old, you really don't understand the whole concept of what you just did. I think the biggest thing for me was the knowing right from wrong. You know, just different things growing up, that things that you know you shouldn't do, that as humans and that sinful nature that we have even at that age, uh, that, that we get into. But it wasn't really until I was uh, 24 years old, I got hurt playing baseball, and God really grabbed a hold of me, and I rededicated my life to Christ, that, you know, I was, it was, I was all in. It was, you know, a thing where I guess baseball jumped up on the priority list a little too far, that, um, you know, I was, I experienced a shoulder injury and was shut down and it was in Lakeland, Florida. I'm just sitting down there, you know, and it came, there was a moment where it was like, okay, you know, this isn't what it's all about. It's not about baseball. It's all about Christ and what I can do for Jesus here on earth, not what Jesus can do for me. He already did everything he could for me. Um, it's just glorifying him here on earth. And one of the things that we talk about is iron sharpening iron and on this team, it's just like, any circle that you're involved in in life, we've got a great circle here in, with our team in Detroit. It's really just that fellowship, that accountability that you bring to each other and going out there and um, getting into the Word, into prayer, um, using each other, holding each other accountable uh, here at home and on the road. I think that it really fits in with my faith, being able to bounce all over the place because I feel like to the team I'm a servant. You know, whatever it is that they need me to do, whether it's pitch, catch, go in, play defense, go in, pinch, run, go up to hit, whatever it is, that's what I'm here for the team. And I think that that's what we're called for as Christians is to, to be servants to other people. And that's where your faith comes in is to, you know, keep that priority list uh, in order. You know, God's always at the top, you know, and then family and then, you know, work, friends, all, everything kind of filters in. It's kind of like somebody gave me the analogy one time, whenever you button the, a lot of times we don't button the top button, but if you, if Christ is that top button, everything else seems to filter into place. If you start button, buttoning from the middle and everything gets out of order, sometimes you get the buttons all screwed up and nothing else seems to, to fill in. So I, I like to think of it like that. As long as you keep Christ at the top, everything else will fill in down through. Donnie's been very consistent. He's been very, uh, um, you know where Donnie stands as, as far as his faith. You know where, where he is. Just being a part of something um, that's bigger than yourself. Um, I mean, with Donnie and Tori and, you know, these guys are, we live in all different parts of the world, but yet we come together with one faith. I think that uh, life and baseball are similar. You know, everything isn't always up. You've got your down, down moments and down times, but just leaning on, on Christ and, and He's our rock, you know, and just to have that stability and that foundation and to, like I said, just be a servant. Go out there, serve other people, and that's what I try to do on our team here in the community with my family, you know, anything, every single day.